Nigeria, good morning if you're, it's morning in your side. Wherever you're watching this series from any part in the world, from any part of the world. My name is Chris Annie, your host for Wealth Creation Series, the founder of the fast-growing Daba.school. And today's edition, like you all are anticipating, is how to raise capital for your business. How to raise capital for your dreams. How to raise money. How to raise capital for your business. You know the truth? The ability to raise capital is one of the most important skills for, for, for any entrepreneur. One of the most important skills an entrepreneur has to possess is the ability to raise capital. And, of course... You know our tradition. You know our method. You know how we do this thing today. What should you do right away? Go below. Go on the link. Share this YouTube video. Okay? Share this link right away. The link that was sent to you, the flyer, share it on your WhatsApp status. Share it on your various WhatsApp groups. Share it on Instagram. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Facebook, share it on LinkedIn, everywhere, everywhere, share this link and invite that person, call that person right now and say, Chris Annie is live, call that your friend, I told you guys to share to 20 people, call that your friend, call that your loved one, if it's a family gathering, tell them, Chris Annie is live on Daba TV YouTube channel, it's time for impact and before the next break, Kindly let me know, where are you watching this video from? Yola, Adamawa, Bauchi, Bene Republic, Kano, Ghana, Tanzania, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Dubai, Malaysia, the UK, London, Manchester, anywhere you're watching, Barcelona, Spain, Atletico, Lyon, anywhere, Paris, share with me, let me know in the comment section. Even if you're watching from Kenya, anywhere, let me know. South Sudan, let me know. Put it down there in the comment section. It's time. And once you are ready, let me know in the comment section. Tell me, Chris, I am ready. We go on this short break right away. Skip this ad just as you skip buying Bitcoin at $4,000 and Ethereum at $100 in 2020. And now, Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a new all-time high in price. Don't you want to learn how to make money by trading and investing in cryptocurrencies in 2021 and beyond? In 2020, during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, I wrote an article advising people and pushing them to buy Bitcoin, stablecoin, and other cryptocurrency. I'm sure those who took my advice a richer down. 2021 is another year that opens opportunities for you to make money from the crypto market. There are two sets of people watching this video right now. The first one are those who are going to ignore this offer, make mistakes, make excuses and move on. The second one are those who are going to take this offer, join my students who are making millions from the cryptocurrency market. My name is Chris Annie, Africa's number one crypto influencer, teacher and founder Daba.school. Welcome to my online course. In this trade and make money course, you learn how to buy, how to sell, coins to profit from, fundamental analysis, technical analysis, how to spot a coin that will make you money, how to also avoid losses in the cryptocurrency market, and a lot more. Not just that, when you get this course, you will also be added to my private premium signal room where you will see the coins to buy and the coins to profit from. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get this course or go to www.daba.school and get the trade that make money course. You can also download the Daba app and get the course on your Daba app. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there. Well, 
come back. Welcome back. Welcome back. So I'm going to sing it like me. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know you like that. Okay, so this class will show you how to use simple finance options available that you can use to start and fund your business from nothingness to becoming a giant in the marketplace, okay? And you see, the inability to raise capital has made a lot of people not to start their dreams, not to fund their business, okay? And today they are not big. But today, I'm going to show you how to raise money, how to raise capital for your business. Uh, the inability to raise capital keeps most small business small. Also note that financial capital is not the first capital you need to start a business. Teaching is, uh, teaching is set, okay? Uh, we're about to take off. So we're still in the, we're still in the what's that runaway, the runaway part, okay? This is Daba Airlines. <laughs> Daba Airlines. About to, we're, we're moving already. Our hair is there. Like, fasten your seatbelt, switch off your, every, when we say switch off your phone, it means every distraction, okay? Put it off, okay? Any distraction, put it off. Because Captain Chris, the chief priest of Daba, is about to launch this flight to 50,000 feet above sea level. So get ready because you know you came to learn how to make money, right? How to raise money. But I'm going to bust your head. I'm going to show you through. So I hope you can handle it. Let me know in the comment section. Are you ready for this flight? Are you ready for this flight? First of all, you don't need money to make money. As much as financial capital is important, you don't need money first to make money. Even though financial capital is indispensable in business, you need social capital to raise money. Write it down. The fund for startup is a critical issue to be decided upon. Raising capital is one of the major business challenges faced by entrepreneurs, especially when it comes to starting a business from scratch. Okay, I have dedicated the next two Sundays in World Creation Series in the month of October to tackle the challenge of raising capital for your new business, okay? So this series will equip you with skills and insight to support you in your fundraising efforts. You will also understand how to develop fundraising strategy step by step. Before we go into raising capital, I'm going to ask you this question. Are you fundable? Are you qualified to raise money? Are you truly qualified to raise capital? That's the first question. That's the first question. Chris, I want, I have an idea. I have an idea. I need money for it. I need money for it. Are you fundable? This is a very serious question. This is a very serious issue. Are you fundable? Okay. Are you qualified to raise capital for your business and your dreams? Are you? Are you fundable? That's the first question. And this is why I am going to dwell. You see, uh, there are, for every successful business you see today, there are three major capitals people use. Number one is financial capital. Number two is human capital. Number three is social capital. You want to be successful in the marketplace. You want to be successful in business. You want your organization to be best or to be so big to be successful. You need these three things. Number one, financial capital. Of course, it talks about money. Number two, human capital, ability to attract talent, skill, skill, skill. And social capital, network, 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 network. Financial capital, equity, okay? How you're funding your business. Human capital, skills, ability, employees bring to an organization. Number three, social capital, okay? And I'm going to dwell on social capital. Let me make this bold. I'm going to dwell on social capital. On my, on my presentation, I had to put so much emphasis on social capital. And I'm going to talk in the next few minutes about this one, big time. Social capital refers to the practice of developing and maintaining relationships from social networks. It can be simply defined as how willing people are to help others in their social network. One of the things I want you to focus on before you start thinking of raising money is to focus on building social capital. Remember, 
Your network determines your net worth. Your network determines your net worth. How important is social capital? How important is this thing? How important is this? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Okay? If there's anything you should focus on right now, it is social capital. Hey, Chris, do you even know that before we even talk, talk of raising human capital, see uh, 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 financial capital, see how I talked about human capital, talents, give skills. I'm going to mention where it's so important here. When I start giving you the different options, I have about 17 to 21 options you can use to finance your business. But let's break things down. Do you have a network? Big question. I want you to answer that. Evaluate. Who are the 10 people in your life that are important, valuable? I'm not saying the people you can call and ask Urgent 2K. If you're in this meeting and you are here to know how to raise Urgent 2K, delete yourself now. Out. Leave this place right now. Fast. If it's, if it's the one where, you know, some of you have spoiled your relationship. You met a guy for the first time and the next thing you're asking him is recharge card. And the guy's like, I see someone that even have better plans for you. You're already asking for a recharge card already. Okay? And the next is, everyone they send you the recharge card, you even, call, you, you even say thank you. Be flashing the person back to tell the person you've received the recharge card. That's not the kind of persons that, those are not the kind of people I want in this meeting, please. Okay? I want people who are ready and they want to understand how they can build social capital, how they can raise money for their business. In fact, one of the things I want to tell leaders to focus on is social capital. As much as um, you do on raising money, I want you to do on doing your, for your talent, human capital, okay? After all, social capital can help you solve many financial and human capa capital problems today, okay? So if you're going to excel in so many areas, especially in fundraising, social capital is number one. 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 A strong network is like money in the bank. Your network can help you build visibility. There's a guy called Ty Lopez. Oh boy, I'm going to, I, I don't want to start unleashing things this, this immediately. Okay. Your network can help you build visibility, connect you with influencers, open up doors for new opportunities. Building and nurturing a network is one of the most powerful things you can do to help you in your business, to help you raise capital. Yet, often, our networking efforts are just social, haphazard, and as a result, ineffective, you just do it anyhow, okay? People are not intentional about networking. People are not intentional about building social capital. And that's the reason why, before I land into several options, I want to get so intentional and deliberate about this. Social capital, right in there, social capital. Okay, you make friends and connections. However, these people are not in always a position to help you. Some of you have 100 friends. But if you call a business idea today to raise 1 million naira, your 100 friends become so useless, including you. So it's not about your 100 friends. Because some of you are hanging out with people who are among your type of capacity. Some of you are hanging out with people who are almost the same with you. And that's why you are, you are sometimes a reflection of the kind of people you follow. And the kind of people you work with. And the kind of people you are friends with. After this teaching se session, you're going to become more intentional and start seeing what to do to add more to your network and more to your cycle. I'm not saying you should be the poorest. Neither am I saying you should be the richest. But this class will show you how to attract the people. How to get network. How to increase your network that will effectively increase your net worth. You know, in Africa today, when people hear money, okay, capital, what comes to their mind is money. Meanwhile, okay, meanwhile, money comes to mind first before knowledge and people. But in Africa, when, when people hear, okay, capital, 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 what comes to mind is money. Yes, money is important. But who brings the money? Robots? Angels? Sand? Who brings the money? Write in the comment section. Let me see it. Write it there. Who brings the money? People. Write it there. Who brings the money? People. Okay? 
Money comes to mind before knowledge. Money comes to mind before people. But what you need first is knowledge. What you need first is skill. And then people. That's why I mentioned human capital. Because see, people are going to invest in a founder who is not skilled and not knowledgeable. I, I've talked about your knowledge thing. Knowledge thing before. So I'm not going to dwell so much on that today. So, I'm going to show you seven ways you can use to build social capital that will in turn help you raising financial capital. Because you need people. People are what you need to raise money. How do I boost social capital? How do I build social capital? I'm going to list eight of them. Eight, eight, eight. How to build social capital. How to build social capital. Are we ready? Let me know in the comment section. Are you ready? Are you ready? I prepared for you all tonight. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me know. Put it there in the comment section. I'm ready, Chris. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ways to build social capital to support your fundraising plan, strategy, and even your career and your business. Number one, network proactively. Not passively. Network proactively. Network proactively. Networking proactively provides an advantage by supporting you with a powerful collection of people who are willing and able to speak for you on an ongoing basis. The network is there when you need it because you build social capital. Network proactively. Network proactively. Be intentional about it. Be active in networking. Not just about exchanging business cards alone. Number two, be strategic. Be strategic. Be strategic. When you are going to build social capital, be strategic about it. And I'm going to read this out. Strategic networking is more than socializing and swapping business cards. It is creating solid relationships to support your aspirations, your dreams, your career, your fundraising strategy. It takes focus and intention to build such a network, but it's invaluable for your profession, for your development. Okay, it's valuable for your development. Identify who you know and who you need to know to help you reach your goal and build a power network to support your advancement. I have a group of friends who I know the ones that are important for wedding. I know the ones that are important for business. I know the ones that are important. There are a group of my friends, there are in my friends list today, there are people I can list out today and say in my network that both from my students and from my colleagues and from my mentors, that if I have a business idea today that needs 100,000 US dollars, I'll call this person. Even if it doesn't give money, be interested. I am intentional about that. You have to start doing. You have to start. And not just that. I have people on my list that have helped me talk in certain boardrooms without my presence. That's how powerful relationships are. Number three. Number three. Create a diverse network. As you begin to know people, okay, and create, create a diverse network. In order to network effectively, you need to move out of your comfort zone and identify people who can help your life, your business, your career. Not just the people you like. I'm telling you, some of you are still hanging out with the same students, the same colleagues. You're still hanging out with the same people. If you're in the music industry, for instance, you don't need to like DJ Koopi. You can go find a way to have a meeting with her. Oh, my name is DJ Chris. Okay? And this is what I do. Okay? And, and, and I, I like to be part of your network. Be intentional. The people that will help your life must not be people who you are friends with immediately. Go. Walk up to a meeting. Look for a meeting with, there's, 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 there's a move I want to make now for Daba Studios. I want to go and meet people in Sound City. Because I want to create a synergy. I'll go there and walk up to them. And tell them this is what I have. This is what I want to do. 
and I believe that I can learn some one or two things like this from South City. And from there, we've created a network, intentional. Everybody write this down. And it's going to be an assignment because next week, this teaching will still continue. List out. And before we do that, let's go on this break. The jobs of the future are not taught in your schools today. And that's why there's a school I want to introduce you to. In this school, they teach various digital courses. They equip people with various digital skills. They also show you how to make money on the internet. The name of the school is www.daba.school. When you log on to this school via your mobile app or via the website, you will get introduced to various courses from drone piloting, crypto trading, cake baking, and several, several courses that will change your life. So what are you waiting for? Go to Google Play Store, download the Daba app, or visit www.daba.school to get the knowledge that will make you wealthy. I'll see you inside. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you've downloaded your Daba app. I hope you're, you're, you're following what we're doing on the Daba app. Make sure you download Daba app as this teaching is going on. But you can do it after the teaching. I stopped at number three. Create a diverse network. And I said, you need to move out of your comfort zone and identify people who can help your career. Not just those people you like. I'll read this out from Chicago Booth School of Business on this topic confirms the importance of a diverse network. Indeed, it might not be who or what you know that creates advantage, but rather more simply, who you become by dint of how you hang out. The disadvantage hang out with folks just like themselves. Why the advantage engage folks of diverse opinion and practice? <laughs> Highly open networks, a diverse set of individuals who don't know one another, is often associated with faster promotion, higher bonuses, strong performance reviews. Okay? Get people. They mustn't be from your same state. They must not be from your same school. That's why you see people, I told people that this recent move by DJ Copy, to, she announced she got admission to Oxford, right, university, some months back. And now she's already, she's done her matriculation. And her professor had to tweet her. A white man had to tweet an Afrobeat. She's a DJ. <laughs> I remember one time when Aki Alabi, when he was running the Naira bet, I think he did a business program somewhere in Harvard and said that his colleagues in that class, that set, were made up of people from China, I think an Arab guy, different people. Hey, I know where you're going to now. Chris, I don't have one to go to Harvard. I don't have one to go to Yale University, no. That WhatsApp community you belong to, there are millionaires inside you don't know. But it depends on the WhatsApp community you belong to. Because some youth became so stupid that a lot of people were creating WhatsApp groups for BB Niger arguments. If you're in that kind of group, you only remain poor. Those kind of group, they don't know. no, that's not the kind of group I'm talking about. You are not talking business. I'm talking of communities. 
I'm talking of, I'm talking of communities. I'm talking of platforms where you will access like this. I have them like this in Daba. Diverse set of people. You are not even the same. So, if you cannot attend Yale, Oxford, Harvard, there's a WhatsApp community, there's a tribe, there's a Telegram group, there's a channel where you can be adding value and people know you and you can network with people. I'm telling you, millionaires. The man who first gave me the first contract for Crypto Life Capital was someone who met me in a WhatsApp group. A WhatsApp group. Number four. Number four. Pay it forward and leverage relationships. When you identify the right people, those people who have power and influence, oh, I had this one time. You know, you want to succeed in your career, in fundraising, in your, in your venture, in your business. Write a list of this set of people you need. You need influential people, number one. You need wealthy people. You need powerful people. <laughs> you need influential people. You need wealthy people. Don't... And never limit yourself to say, because I am poor, I cannot have wealthy people. I am telling you that millionaires can invest in you at just idea stage. I've seen it happen to me. Without you being the millionaire, of course, that's why they're investing. Jesus had these people, influential, wealthy, powerful. There were times some government spoke. There was a time a wealthy Joseph went to take his body after his death. Influential, powerful, wealthy. The influential person may not have money to give to you, but he can speak on your behalf in a meeting where they need to give you money. The wealthy is the one that can bring the finance to the table. The powerful is the government official that can make a law to help your business grow. I don't want to go into higher class teaching on this. So let's, let's stay. There was a meeting, someone like some of them interviewed, and they were sharing some of these things. They saw, one of my orgas paid 500000 for, I think, for a one-day meeting. Is it like a, 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 a seminar, a meeting with them, Pastor Sam at the ME. Someone in Charlton, I think, one or two years, three years ago. And these things I'm sharing with you. How do you pay it forward and leverage relationships? Write this down. Write this down. Write this down. Be willing to offer value and assistance when they need it. Be willing to offer value. When the world comes around you, they don't ask for money. But if you see what you can add to them, that's what I'm telling you to get skilled. That's what I'm telling you to understand how social capital works. Because the wealthy man also want something from you. I wouldn't promote a Joseph if you could have, if if he can't interpret my dreams. Social capital, offer value. And make no mistake, the business you run could even be the value you're offering. The business. So don't say value is by going to buy shoe for them. They don't need your shoe, even though some may need it. They don't need your clothes. Offer value. Make sure the business or what you're pulling is something valuable that is solving problems. Because when I checked some people, one day I wrote, do you want to learn how to raise capital for your business? Or do you, I wrote something on Facebook one time. 
And I saw people talking about different business, different business, different business. And, and I'm like, what's this one saying? A lot of people are running businesses that are not adding value. A lot of people are running systems or, 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 or things that are never solving problems. Before I came on stage today, I was on TikTok, on Instagram, Reels, and I saw a video where Elon Musk was saying, you're solving problems and becoming a billionaire. He said, no, I'm doing something useful. People will put money in something that is solving problems. So help others. Help others. Help others. Okay, the next one. Set aside dedicated time each week to network. Set aside dedicated time each week to network. So you sit down like this. Oh, I want to meet the COO of um, BBA. I want to meet the CEO of DABA. Oh, fine. You know, some people want to, have been trying to reach out to me, reach out to me, and... When I tell them there's no chance, they get angry and they go. And they go and gossip to people that um, I am proud. But the problem is that you are one out of 1,000 people who want to even see me. And my job in, in the office is not to come and be doing ceremonial leadership, like our systems of government in this country, where when you win, everybody's coming to greet you. No, no, no. We came here for work. Set out time. You could, you, could, you could say you want to connect with a, a staff in one company like that. One day, one day in Dubai, boy, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I am going to be so intentional about this. Many of you know my listen with Nas Daily. But if I tell you it took me months, months to even have to travel to Dubai. And one of the reasons I had to travel to Dubai in 2020 December was so that I can meet Nas daily. I was so intentional about it. I don't even know his office. I don't even know his place. I remember one day my wife was telling me that he saw Nas daily story and discovered that the hotel where we were lodged, they just, their yacht, just, their, their cruise, their boat just passed. And, and she saw something like that in the night. I think it was close to... New Year period, uh, 31st night or something close to that. Nas was with his family. And when he posted the story, we saw something like that. Like, ah, this is just back of our hotel. And I said, I'm going to meet this guy. Till today, if you go to my Instagram handle and my inbox, Nas has never replied one message from me. He has never read. So when some of you send some people messages and they don't reply you, especially some influencers, you get angry. It means... You don't even understand. Some of you are angry. Some of you will do worse in that position. And I said, I'm not going to stop. So I went on search on social media. Of course, I have a very discerning spirit. So I went to Dubai Mall, and I went to Arab Emirates Mall. And I was there with my associate, Chigoze Emmanuel. And I said, I've seen a picture of Nas Daily Office. But there's something I need to check. So I did my search and search. And next thing, boom. I said, Chigozi, let's go to Jumeirah. Something must be here. And that's how I went there. I didn't even know the office. But some of you, of course, have a very strong discerning spirit. And I kept on walking. I said, we're going to see this office. So I said, I'm seeing some, I've seen something like this. Now I suppose there's some, a, a place like this. That picture was in my head. And I kept on looking for it. That part of Jumeirah in Dubai. I kept on looking for it. And next thing, by my right hand side, I saw Force for Good, Nas Daily. Boy, <laughs> I was already rejoicing before I even saw Nas. So when I got to his office, of course, they won't allow you to enter. Of course, you didn't, you didn't have an appointment. So I, I said, I, I, I have sent a mail to Nas. I'm going to pay $1,000 to see him. I talked with Isa. And you must know how to communicate effectively. You know, early this week, I was so angry that I had to put some things on my WhatsApp status. I said on Daba, there are a lot of things we, start, we need to start teaching. Number one, how to communicate, how to write, how to speak, how to think, how to approach people, how to be social. Do you know when 
I got there, I met Isa. I met uh, uh, this other guy, one of these guys that is doing part of the NAS News Arabia. And I was talking with them. I was talking with them. I was like, wow. And the next day, like, guy, you talk like NAS. I said, yes. He said, you even know everything about NAS Academy and all that. I said, yes. Why? Because even the person I'm going to network with, I've studied him. I'm going somewhere. So let's say there's a CEO of a particular company I'm interested in. I will go read about it. So when I'm having conversation with this person, it will be as though we've known for years. Oh, you thought I was going to just tell you, if you want to make money, go and meet Dangote. If Dangote doesn't give me money, go and meet Dan Tata. If Dan Tata doesn't give me money, go and meet Alaji Musa. No, 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 no. I'm giving you the process now. Everything I'm teaching on World Creation Series, if they package it in a course, nobody should say it for less than one million naira. I'm telling you, what I've been teaching World Creation Series for the past few episodes, they are bombs. I'm giving you world secrets here. I studied, I studied NAS. Follow this program, follow these updates. When they open NAS News Arabia, the purple, I, at the time I told them, you guys open NAS News Arabia so you can penetrate Dubai and the Arab world. Uh -uh. Like, who is this guy? <laughs> From saying they can't allow me to enter inside, they say, okay, come in, come in. NAS would like to meet you. I did, they, first, they told me NAS is not around. Then they told me NAS didn't book a meeting with me. Until I showed them the email I sent to NAS to pay $1,000 to see him for even five minutes. <laughs> social capital. Social capital. Oh, Chris, why are you talking about Nas Daily? The, the picture for Nas Daily alone brought authority and respect. The picture alone. I don't want to talk about the effect of the meeting. I don't want to talk about that. The picture alone. The picture alone brought validation. The picture alone brought... Boy, this guy is talking with Nas Daily. And guess what? I wasn't, and the next day I entered, they said, oh, from, people who said, I won't be able to see Nas, people who said, oh, Nas is busy with the podcast, I saw Nas leg inside, I entered, I was waiting, and I was waiting, and the next thing, Nas came out, we hugged each other, and we talked from 15 minutes to one hour, social capital, dedicate time, so, I'm going to go to the next one, before the next one, We'll go on this short break. The world is changing. It is becoming more digital and so is the future of our money. At Crypto Life Capital, we are helping you grow wealth by investing in digital currencies because we believe that digital currencies break down barters and change the world economy. We have a team of experienced traders who are dedicated to helping your investment grow. We make investment easy and stress-free for you. Crypto Life Capital is Africa's first crypto asset portfolio investment and management platform committed to helping investors, individuals and institutions gain passive income and build long-term wealth through the crypto market. We provide exposure to price movements of a diversified mix of crypto assets, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and large and small cap innovative digital projects. Do you want to build wealth in crypto? Then, invest in Crypto Life Capital today. It's time to go Crypto Life. with former colleagues, alumni, classmates, keep in touch with them. Keep in touch with them. 2019, I had a classmate of mine who invested in Crypto Life Capital. A classmate. He saw what I was doing. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. In short, there's a friend of mine whose business I have invested, if a classmate of mine whose business I have invested no less than 40,000 US dollars this year. If a classmate were in the same secondary school, 
and we kept in touch till today. In short, I had to bring another investor for him who invested almost double the amount I invested. Keep in touch with former colleagues. Keep in touch. Keep in touch. I discovered that the money we even raised for that particular venture, that colleague of mine, all came through my own network. I think about four of us, four, four investors. Keep in touch. Have you noticed? You see somebody say, oh, my name is Dustin. Um, you, you just sit on, 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 on newspaper. Dustin, former ex-Google employee, raises $1 million. Because of that relationship he has kept with probably the CEO, the staffs, the team. That's why you must be careful with this thing. How do you keep, how do you keep your former relationships? Oh, he used to be a programmer at Digital Abundance. Today, he runs a $5 million Web3 startup. That should be the kind of thing you should be aiming for. Some of you want to rush into starting your business without building base. There's a coin in the cryptocurrency market called DYDX. This guy worked at Coinbase for years. And guess what? Go to DYDX. Go and look for that coin. And after leaving, he left Coinbase in a very sweet way. I want a lot of people to watch this part of this teaching and take it so important. Because some of you, what you're doing today is destroying the things you'll get tomorrow. And this guy, when he left Coinbase, he, told, he even told the CEO one time, they have an ambition to be. Coinbase is an exchange, a wallet. The biggest in the US. And guess what? This guy did his work there. When I went to, one thing that intrigued me was that this guy has been building this DYDX after I left Coinbase for four years. I said, let me check the thing with this DYDX. Only for me to go down, down, down. There's a place where the right people back in the project. Guess what I saw? I did not see Coinbase. What I saw amongst the people who invested in the project is Brian Armstrong, the founder and CEO of Coinbase. That means when that guy was at Coinbase, he had solid relationship with the CEO. So even if the company did not invest in him, the CEO invested. You know what it means for the CEO of the largest Bitcoin wallet on exchange in US to back you? You are in the company today. How are you serving in that place? How are people? Are you the one where if you leave tomorrow, you cannot go back to that your former employee to talk? How many of you one day can, can, uh, can your CEO call you back and say, oh, I, I, I see you're launching... Um, uh, 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 uh. Before your CEO even have that kind of meeting with you, you must be somebody who, who exhibited a lot while you were in the company. Oh, I see you're launching AYZ Transport Logistics. Oh, good to know. Okay, uh, I, I see you've learned a lot from our airline and our logistic company. How much, how, how much stake will you, are we going to get? Because every rich man wants to be richer when they see potential. How much stake are we going to get if we put in $2 million in your company? I'm telling you. There, there's a student of mine whose drone company we're about to fund. Social capital. How are you building this thing? How are you networking intentionally? Money comes from people. Money comes from people. Keep in touch with colleagues. <laughs> Keep in touch with colleagues. Bosses, alumni. That's why people talk about the importance of the school. That's why, for instance, now if you're watching this thing, Daba students, don't joke with this movement. I'm saying it here. Daba is going to be like the apple for education in Africa. I'm saying it clear. The students you meet at Daba can change your life. Even the facilitators. There are people who have left my company in the past that can't come and approach me again because the way they left. Some left in a crook way. And they have bad testimonials. So tomorrow, I'm not saying the CEO is a god, but I'm telling you life real, ex real life experience. 
real life experience. There are people who are ex-junior employees who are raising money today. Ex-Conga, ex-Google, ex ex-Microsoft, ex, ex, former Facebook guy. And today they are launching. And this is the word I have for young people today. And you listening to me. If you take on a paid employee, don't carry all those mindset of be your own boss and start misbehaving. Even if you have a company in the future you want to build, I have someone in my company who's tomorrow, I know, I already have plans. Tomorrow, if he opens his company for this, I know what I'm going to put there. Even if I have supported him in the past. Why? He has played his role well in the company. He has helped in launching successful products in the company. You think social capital is about just saying you know how to relate well? How are you giving value in that place of work? How? Are you giving enough value? Are you even doing more than enough? Some of you work in places, your CEO doesn't have a personal relationship with you. And I, and I don't mean non nonsense relationship. I mean, re hey, can your CEO be the one to call you and say, that boy, man, 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 I have a challenge. Man, how do we fix this launch? How do we fix it? It's, you are just the IT, you are just the guy operating camera in the company. But your CEO talks to you about products in the company. When you enter that level, go and thank your God, you are made. Because one day, your CEO can call you for a meeting and say, let's go. <laughs> the day I first met Sam Madukonishi, the CEO of Peace Mass Transit, my mentor back then in school, we didn't, we didn't call everybody. In short, oh boy, I've enjoyed privileges. I served my mentor. And one day, I was in a meeting, three of us. And he said, who is this guy? Ha! Rich men, very careful with whoever is behind them. Peace Mass Transit is the largest minibus transport company in West Africa that flies in the, the east and other. And when the man sat down with me, I sat down like this. He told my mentor, he said, who is this guy? He says, my, it's my boy. <laughs> and I was hearing dangerous conversations. Conversations that the public should not be hearing. Conversations that inspired me to know, man, these dreams are possible. That I, so, so when you see me talk like this, you should know the kind of places I've been to. Social capital. So that tomorrow, you can go back. That company can back you. That employee can back you. Those staff, even those staffs, oh, while they are found out, oh, my, while I get one project, so oh, I get one project. Now, do, ah, okay, what's up? Now, do 50K remain more complete the project. Okay, now, because of your past behavior, because of the way you kept the relationship, money will come. I'm teaching here. If you're getting value in this meeting, let me know in the comment section. I'm teaching here. That's why you should be careful. If you don't know, do you know today, if I see somebody that becomes the highest athlete marketer for Daba, I know what I'll do for the person. As in, somebody will serve Daba like crazy, promote the work. I see where Toyomoto Show hails Caleb on this part. Yeah. Oh, you think you take it, you take it to Dubai? You, because the guy has put in the work. I saw one thing someone did for me, for us at Daba, Tam Lure. That guy has been working as a volunteer in this company for one year and has never taken a salary. In short, time not to earn money this year. Of course, for you to get to a level where you join me to Dubai and you lodge in the same hotel where I am, you should know the kind of push you pushed. Time not to was intentional about reaching out to me, meeting me. Sometimes he has to leave it bad on to my old office in Lagos. This year, the guy did, if you go to Mokola in Ibadan, right? That's where Daba billboard is. I didn't pay one Naira. I didn't design it. I, I, didn't even, I had no idea about it. All I knew was, we're going to do a billboard. I just saw one day, someone is billboard in, 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 on Twitter. I didn't even know it was because of Daba. I was thinking it's his program. That's how you win the arts of rich. <laughs> Number seven, focus your social media networking efforts. Focus your social media networking efforts. One will think that because we are constantly connected online, that networking in this manner is easy. After all, 
We have the potential for tremendous exposure to a vast network of people. However, online professional networking is not without challenges. It is difficult to cut through all the noise. The number of people who connect with us is daunting, and as a result, it's easy to lose our strategic focus. Someone approaches us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or any social media and asks us, and our first one is, okay, we end up with a huge network of people. We don't know who of us no value. It's wiser to look carefully at their profile to determine if you want to, if you want that person in your network. There's a lady I had to connect with. There's a woman I had to connect with on, on, on Twitter. Write this down. Most important social network you should be on. Number one, Twitter. Number two, Facebook. Number three, LinkedIn. Number four, Instagram. Which other one again? Which other one again? The social networks. Of course, WhatsApp is there. Telegram is sure. So, because I know, let me tell you one way to network with some people on social net, on social media. <laughs> I say, everyone write this down, value. You must be a person of value. Nobody wants to associate with a mediocre. So, there's a lady I follow on, social, on Twitter very well. Her name is Dr. Ola Brown, the flying doctor. Funny enough, I've known about the flying doctor when she first debuted on, when, when she first made her first debut, when uh, Mo Abudu interviewed her, I'm like, who is this friend? Then, wow, Mo Abudu, very inspiring program there. She used to showcase young people on Ebony Live TV. I think she was in Calabar then. I'll be watching, I think. I don't know where I was then. And they said Dr. Ola is 18. And that she's the youngest flying doctor. And then she had a like, helicopter or so. And then they do ambulance. I think it's first ambulance or so, first flying doctor. Right? And so, when I, met her, when I saw her on Instagram, I was like, wow. So sometimes I try to reach out. There's no way. Who knows? Who knows this person? Of course, I have some people in my network who I do business with who know her personally. But I've not, I've not even reached out to them to say, I want to meet this person. I have to use Twitter. So every time, I've been following her for like one year plus. I see her post on Twitter. Okay, she changes it to Dangote. Ah, you know, so do you want it solemn? Do you want it fresh? She just, you know, and we enjoy those conversations, those um, tweets she makes. And she likes anything investment, capital. She likes to talk about economics. That's her land. That's, that's, her, that's her need. She loves it. In short, the day I'll bring her to Daba TV, one of the questions I've already prepared for her is, how did you transition from medicine to economics? I mean, she did that. I think she did an MBA with the whole economics thing. And it's so interesting when she writes. One of the things I love about her is the way she writes. Like, the thing is so, so, so good. You know, so relatable. Put up with the economics. I think she even wrote an, an e-book like that. And there's one right. And whenever she writes like this, I, 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 I put a comment. This is this, this is that. And I'm not even, even doing that because I want to get to know. No, I... I just do it because I enjoy it. And she's so good at retweeting. So the next thing, you, whatever comment you put, she retweets. She retweets. Even the joke part, she retweets. There was one I even made that I said, ah, um, Uzo Dimadi, former CEO of Diamond Bank, raising $3 million shouldn't be a news. She retweeted and said, no, it's a news because the guy started from scratch. And, 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 and he's start, he starting again from scratch after, some, after what you think is a, bounce, is a failure. Now he's bounced back and blah, 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 blah. And one time like that, she made a tweet, I think around 11 p.m. in the night or so. I had to tweet and say, man, this wisdom you are sharing, can I get your this is why you beat on, on, on Daba TV? Somebody now said I should DM and all that. So the next thing was... When I discovered that I got her attention with her tweet, next day I went on DM. And I said, we would like to interview you. We would like to interview you at Daba TV. <laughs> and how do I reach out? She just dropped an email. Don't start asking for a phone number immediately. Some of you come to my DM. Chris, I want to invite you. I want to invite you. The next thing, I want to invite you. Don't even say the invite you. Give me your WhatsApp number. Give me your WhatsApp number. Don't even say it, you know. So be as if I won't go in, no should you? Give me your WhatsApp number. I see my, my these days we're even afraid of hackers and people coming to use our and it's like because we will not have our phone number as WhatsApp, they're using our name to do collateral loans. 
So everything you are receiving message, Deji is owing. We will arrest him in the next four hours. What's he concerned me and Deji? What's he concerned me and Deji? You go and use because we know. The next thing you now come on this and say, sir, please, I'm owing loan. I'm owing loan. Who beg you go and use? If you don't have money, go and do something. But you, ah, ah. And these loan companies, I want to, how do you guys give loan to people who don't earn salaries? How do you give loan to somebody? I've seen somebody who collected their loan used to play betting and the betting hit them. Go and meet Naira Bet or Bet Niger, not Chris Ani, please. And from there, that's how you build relationships. I've had a particular set of people who invested in my company, in our company product. And guess what? It was just via Twitter, via Facebook. I mentioned earlier that a guy like Ty Lopez came from a poor background. You say it's the US. No. Ty Lopez used social media. And I'm going to teach on that in one day. How to use social media for fame, for influence, and for wealth. Write it down for me. It's, a, it's one of the courses I'm going to create on Daba. How to use social media. I'm going to dissect the life of Ty Lopez in that teaching. Ty Lopez is one perfect example from the US. Your social, keep giving out values on social media. It will attract the kind of people you want that can invest in your company tomorrow. See how we spent almost one hour teaching about social capital. And see how I have focused. Because the money will come from people. The money will come from people. The money will come from rats. It will come from ghosts. It will come from people. If you understand this thing, you begin to build your life accordingly for the future. How many of your friends can you call today and say, we need to start this business together? How many? I'm going to share with you, maybe next week, how I raised the first 25,000 I used in registering my corporate society back in school. Son was receiving just 5,000 Naira pocket money from his father. It's not today I started raising money. Of course, my company has been bootstrapped, but I have products, investment products that people have invested in, and I've helped companies raise money. <laughs> so it's not today. There's a blockchain company that I helped in raising money in 2018. I brought the first investor who gave them $5,000. And through that investor, they were able to raise, I mean, thousands over 100,000 US from that singular investor. Focus your social media network. When we come back from this short break, I will now go to the medium you can use to raise money. I will just finish with two and we use the next week and complete the remaining. Don't leave this class. Remember to share this video as we go on this short break. Okay, so let's go. How do you raise money for your business? How do you raise? Uh, let's now consider the major sources of raising capital. Of course, if you are wise enough, you would notice that I have covered most one of the most important sections on raising capital. Okay, let's go. I'm going to mention one, two. Number one way to raise capital for your business. Number one. Customer-centric financing. Customer-centric financing. Customer-centric financing. This is a master class. This is a class people should be paying $1,000 for, $500 for. So that's why if you're living before the end of this class, then you're missing a lot. Because I'm about to share an opportunity that will help you. An opportunity about a challenge, a mental matchup challenge, where you can pitch your startup and get up to 10,000 US dollars in funding. 
They actually give me up to twenty thousand dollars. So I think there's a first place ten thousand, second place five thousand, third place five thousand, so twenty thousand dollars by two, three, four finance. Okay, I'm gonna play the video after this session. Number one, customer centric financing. Customer centric financing. Customer centric financing. Use customers' cash to finance your business. Let me share with you how we raised the first $1,000 we used in financing the operations of Daba in 2019. Are you ready for the story? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Are you ready for the story? Yeah, $1,000 then was like uh, 350000 naira, right? So I had the idea for Daba. The first time I tested Daba idea was in 2018. So I did a boot camp and I just needed to like, okay, let me test this idea. The first, the first time I tested it, okay, we got a million naira that month. That was 2018. I said, oh. But it wasn't Daba the school. It was just Dita Abundance. You know, we did a web, a boot camp, world boot camp. And I said, okay, fine. That was in 2018. Until, I think after six, seven months, 2019, January, I was, I was in, of course, I was in Kano or so. I came back to Lagos. We're pursuing a meeting with Emir Sanusi, Lamido then, and we're trying to raise money for a particular company. And then I announced, I, I saw the idea for Daba, and it's going to be a platform. Write this down, platform-based business. This model I'm about to share works very well for platform-based business, education, real estate brokers, traders. It works very well for them. In short, this method of financing can work for somebody who is a P2P trader in the cryptocurrency industry. Even a broker, it can work for you. A real estate guy, it can work for you. Customers finance and use their money to build. That's number one. That's why. So the first thing I did then was I had a friend of mine who has made over $100,000 from YouTube. Of course, his course is no longer on Daba because we're updating Daba because we have a new facilitator for it. And I said, okay, you can teach this thing, right? And my goal for Daba is to teach people high income skill that can help them create wealth. So what did I do? While I was in Kadu, while I was in Kano, we talked about the old YouTube course launch on Daba. That was the first course that launched on Daba. So I did a video by a swimming pool. I said, do you want to learn how to make $1,000 on YouTube? I have not made $1,000. So I told them there's somebody who's going to make it that who's going to, as I then, somebody who's going to teach them how to make money from YouTube using his strategy. So I said, this guy will teach you how to make money from YouTube. The pre-launch fee is $50. Pre-launch fee, $50. And uh, after launch, we're going to take the course to $7,500. Or $100. So I printed the flyer. I printed the flyer, and I went to my WhatsApp status. So the first place we used in raising money for Daba was on WhatsApp. That's why I laugh at people who joke with what they can do with their WhatsApp status. Some of you go about posting naked things. Some of you go about posting, you put, you put all your clothes and shoes like ring. And as though people are tired of your WhatsApp status. Stop those bullshit. Let us teach you. Go and take my WhatsApp monetization course on Daba. Let us teach you how to use WhatsApp for your business even if you have nothing to sell. So I put it on my WhatsApp status, social capital. There's a course, I just wrote some words that were launching our YouTube course. And I said the first 20 people to pay $50 will access this course. There was no www.daba.school. There was no even www.dataabundance.io slash daba. We had nothing. Just the idea. And guess what? Immediately I put it on my WhatsApp status. That weekend, 50, 20 people paid 50, 50 dollars. And we got $1,000 in cash 
in 2019. So I already had cash, $1,000. And I'm telling today that some startups that claim they are this and that, DABA is more valuable. DABA's valuation is over $5 million US dollars today. $5 million is even small because I know the revenue we've done this year. We've, we've bootstrapped DABA till today. Till today. No VC, no angel. People have been interested, but I'm not selling. I'm not selling. There are only three owners in DABA. I'm not going to mention them, but they are internal. They're not, they're not externals. The first owner is Digital Abundance as a company. That oh, that's a, that's DABA is a subsidiary to and me too. And when I advertise it, and I just put them in a WhatsApp group. The video of the course was not ready. The website was not ready. So it was from that money, I paid the first developer that worked on DABA. I was paying him 70,000 Naira monthly. That guy was so good, but his attitude just... So he just built something, a learning system. And the other guy who was doing the video, I guided him. I was guiding him how to do the videos because I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. I may not know a team very well, but I can guide you what people need to know in that course. So I told him, this is how to do the videos. So he did it from the beginning, and boom. So we had the videos, then we needed the platform. This guy kept on build, building, building. So I now told them, Daba first course, we do pre-launch date. It was on a Saturday. <laughs> so name cheap and everything was giving us we need to see the rush that in my office. Please, uh, my, is this thing ready, Michael? Is this, is this oh, funny how our former developer's name is Michael. And this one too is Michael. <laughs> and I said, he said, name chief. Where to call? Where to message name chief? Please activate this thing. Please do this one. So it was Zeta Abonas Ohio Stars Academy. Then. And I told people we were going to launch in one hour. One hour site was not ready. Everything was ready, but the way they would get so I said, well, yeah, drop your login details, lo drop your email. We have to start helping them to sign up. And boom, we launched the deal pre launch phase. And that was the money I kept on using like that, small, small. Before you know, I got designer and I added my trading, trade and make money course like that, like that. The first 1,000 US dollars. And we got 20 users. From there, we moved to 100. From there, 500. 1,000. Since we crossed 1,000 users on DAB, our growth has been exponential. I mean, this year alone, DAB has done nine figures in sales. Nine. You know what it means in sales? Nine. Nine figures in sales. Nine. Five facts of these. It will be five, it will be it will be ten. Of course, in Naira. It's big. Customer financing. This is the model that Airbnb used. So they check for a hotel. How can I use customer financing? And that's why one of the important skills you need as an entrepreneur is the skill of selling. Because if you cannot raise money from your customers to build your platform and focus on your business if you don't know how to sell. So what are the models under customer-centric financing, under using customer's cash to finance your business? What are the models? Let me share the models with you. What are the models? What are the models? Number one, Subscription based. Online education plan, subscription based. Let's say you're putting up an item, just giving like Netflix. You have to pay subscription. So you can use subscription model for this. Subscription model. Subscription model. Number two, deposit model. They use this one in real estate. You have a building, okay, and one acre of land or 20 acres of land. 
You want to build 100 stories. You tell them, people who are going to pay the houses, you know the cost of housing already. Let's say the cost of housing is 50 million. Okay? Okay? And of course, your profit is there. Whoever is going to pay 30 million up front, okay, 40 million up front, will remove, you will not pay, you can spread the remaining payments after two years. This is real estate. So you take the money from the people and build it. It's called customer financing. <laughs> Relying on upfront payments. So let's say you're a travel agent. You want to build an app, for instance, where people can use in traveling. I'm giving wisdom here. <laughs> I'm giving wisdom. Don't leave me. <laughs> okay. And, and, and you have an app you want to build. And the app, to build the app, Everything with launching, let's see, let's just use five million naira. That's about ten or twenty thousand dollars to do the launch and everything. And you say, okay, the first five hundred people that would uh, that would book, okay, to Maldives, Dubai, we're going to do a package for you for a hundred dollars. Even if you don't have a profit there, you have used their money. Okay, you've run the stop. You used it and you've built the platform. And you've also run their travel package for them. I'm just giving you ideas. I'm not saying you go and take people's money and spend. Then when it's time to deliver, you don't know. You've used money. And guess what? When your app is launching, people are already subscribing again. More money is being made. Airbnb, they will not spend on anything. What they will do is they get the hotel. They get the space. You pay them. They pay the person. They fix things. And you, you come and use it. Collecting money in advance for something that will launch is another way. Zara does it. Zara will tell you, we have only 10,000 pieces of this fashion, this clothes coming out. Use the word pre-order. Everybody write it there, pre-order. Pre-order. Authors who are writing books can use this model. Authors who are writing books can use this model. My book, when it launches, it will be 10,000 Naira. But if you can pay 5,000 Naira now, you will get it. Pre-launch price. Including delivery. And maybe all you need is 200,000 to publish 1,000 copies. Or 300,000. Okay? By the time... 100 people give you 5,000. You've raised what? 500,000. So you've used 200,000 to do the thing and use 100,000 for delivery. You have profits. Pre-order model. Subscri so we have subscription model, pre-order model, scarcity model. There will only be 10,000 of these Zara fashion clothes. You're on Instagram. You have somebody to buy the air from. You already have one sample. Use that sample. I'm having only 100. 100 of these orders is landing next week. Ladies, in the shake, in the shake, in the shake. You are using in the shake, in the shake. The way you dance, you dance. As you're doing that, you're doing that. Say only 100 of these will be available next week. Pre-order now. When it lands next week, Omo, the last bone straight I bought for my wife. Ah, Omo. If it lasts next week, they are giving me sign not to talk. <laughs> they say if I share the price of the bone straight, some people, <laughs> to gather some people trade and make money costs in different ways. And you put it there. I'm expecting 200. If you are here, you want to buy. When the price lands in my store, it is 300000 If you can pay 200000 today, scarcity model. Scarcity model. But know that customer-funded models don't suit every ventures. Okay? When you're doing it. Okay? So, like that. Like that. Like that. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't teach you these things in schools. <laughs> this is Daba. This is the master class we're talking about. This is the master class we're talking about. <laughs> if you're getting something, let me know in the comment section. Okay? 
So we have the deposit model, the scarcity model, the subscription model. Okay? Even the reselling model. That's why you must learn how to sell. You must learn how to sell. Um, a wonderful woman called Zinizulu, she is a businesswoman. Uh, I think she in the in the in the female space, she won't start doing this thing Tolu Elumelu has been doing. Okay, and that's why she has 234 finance. She teaches people business. Okay, she works with Nepal as the I think head of operations and oil company. And she's a business mogul. If you were in the how to how to overcome this crisis last year during our conference, you see that she shared on um, Blue Ocean strategy. And next week you even see her interview on Daba TV. So uh, our business leader of the week, you're going to see our interview. She has launched Mentor Matchup Challenge. And I want you all to be part of this. So there's a video that will play right after now. Okay, follow the instructions in that video. Go and start learning how to write your pitch, your business. Okay, time has come. They will tell you what to do. You're going to do the video. And I think from there you see the next instructions to take. Okay, let's play this short video. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Izune Wazulu. I am the managing partner of 234finance.com and I'll be attending the Mentor Matchup Challenge 4.0. Would you like to pitch to win $10,000 seed funding for your business? Make a one minute video pitch highlighting three things $10,000 will solve for your business. Share on Instagram using the hashtag Mentor Matchup Challenge 4. Tag and follow at 234finance and at Mentor Matchup Challenge on Instagram. Thank you and good luck. Hi, my name is Izune Wazulu. I am the managing partner of 234finance.com and I'll be attending the Mentor Matchup Challenge 4.0. Would you like to pitch to win $10,000 seed funding for your business? Make a one minute video pitch highlighting three things $10,000 will solve for your business. Share on Instagram using the hashtag Mentor Matchup Challenge for tag and follow at 234finance and at Mentor Matchup Challenge on Instagram. Thank you and good luck. Welcome back. Don't leave the class. Don't leave. Just what I'm going to do right away for you is go to 234 Finance page on Instagram. It's showing on your screen. Okay. Follow them. Okay. Don't go and start sending a DM. Okay. Do this on Instagram. As I told you, social network. Social network, very important. And if you need that video, join the Taba, Daba Telegram channel. Join the Tab Daba Telegram channel. If you need that video, I'm going to put that video on Daba Telegram channel. So what are you going to do right away? Go to your Daba app. You will see a place on the tab where they say join Telegram channel, right? Then if you, go, if you don't have our app on, on your, uh, of course, we, because we're not on place on, uh, on uh, iOS yet, okay? If you go to your tab, you see join our Telegram channel. Just click on join Telegram channel straight up. Okay, it takes you straight to Telegram. Okay, you join Daba Telegram channel there. When you download the Daba app, or you can go to www.daba.school, scroll on the page, check the page. You will see join our Telegram channel. There you can get the video and see the format. Okay, and see the format. Please don't send anyone a DM, okay? Don't send anyone a DM begging them for money. I repeat, that alone can disqualify you. When you present, do all the instructions, follow the instructions given. And of course, anticipate Daba's own 
very soon because we're going to be launching something like this. I told my team members the other day I was in Enugu uh, with Chigozi when we went for Harrison's wedding. I said, Chigozi, I can bring out $20,000 now. Let's do a challenge. Let's let DAPA students pitch their companies, their businesses, their internet businesses, and we'll give them support. Okay? We, we, we could do 10000 5000 When I saw, that's what I love what Zinizulu is doing. I love what she's doing. And expect DABA to do our own. In short, with the way things are going, DABA may even raise it to 50000 US dollars. We're going to give to different people. Okay? So don't worry about that. Just stay tuned. That's why you should have the DABA app on your phone, okay, and the DABA website. And follow what we do in our community. Get the courses you can get on DABA. There's a WhatsApp monetization course. There's a, um, there's a drone piloting course. In short, there's a drone, there's a drone company either by David you're about to seed fund over 100,000 US dollars. So if you like, be there saying, waiting that they use this drone, do. You'll be there, drone, David will receive his seed funding and be doing his business big time and be wondering, uh, uh, because me, I like investing in the business of the future, innovation. You'll be there, okay? So go take the Daba WhatsApp course, the drone course, there's a cake course, there's affiliate marketing, there is a video editing and production, okay? And, and all that, and be on the watch out. Remember to share all our videos, all our programs, and subscribe, invite somebody to watch this program again. Go and share this video again. People can watch it again and be part of what we are doing. Next week, I will continue on the series, the major sources where you can raise money. I just showed you 234 Finance. There are platforms, especially the woman, there's a platform I'm gonna share with you next week where that funds businesses headed by women. If you're a CEO, if you're a woman, if you're a lady, a girl, okay, you have a business you want to start, you want to launch, okay, I'm going to give you that directory. I'm going to give you platforms where you can write to grants, capital, pitch to, okay, two, three, four videos is one. I'm going to share more next week. I'm going to now share how to approach angel investors. I'm going to share different things, venture capitals, different style of financing that you can use on the internet. I'm also going to drop websites where you can even drop videos and talk about your business. Next week, Wealth Creation Series. Don't miss it. Next week, Wealth Creation Series. Don't miss it. Next week, Wealth Creation Series. Don't miss it. Carry this word like this, I'm telling your friend. Next week, we're creation series. Don't miss it. And finally, go on Twitter. Share what you've learned on Facebook. Okay? Share. And use the hashtag World Creation Series. Chris Annie. Hashtag Chris Annie. Hashtag Daba. Okay? And invite your friends. Tell them about what we are doing. And God bless you. My prayer for you this week. You will succeed. You will make progress in all your endeavors. Your God protected. The Lord himself will protect you. The Lord himself will guide you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. And you are blessed. Till I come your way next week, Chris Annie, founder Daba, CEO of Digital Abundance. And remember, Crypto Life Capital is there. For those of you who are ready to invest in our crypto hybrid fund, it's closing soon in the month of November. You don't want to miss this hybrid fund. It's you've not seen this type before. So just go to CryptoLife.Capital, read the terms and conditions, and be part of that investment. God bless you all, and have a lovely week ahead. The world is changing. It is becoming more digital, and so is the future of our money. At Crypto Life Capital, we are helping you grow wealth by investing in digital currencies because we believe that digital currencies break down borders and change the world economy. We have a team of experienced traders who are dedicated to helping your investment grow. We make investment easy and stress-free for you. Crypto Life Capital is Africa's first crypto asset portfolio investment and management platform committed to helping investors individuals and institutions gain passive income and build long-term wealth through the crypto market. We provide exposure to price movements of a diversified mix of crypto assets, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, 
and large and small cap innovative digital projects. Do you want to build wealth in crypto? Then invest in Crypto Life Capital today. It's time to go Crypto Life. I am the managing partner of 234finance.com and I'll be attending the Mentor Matchup Challenge 4.0. Would you like to pitch to win $10,000 seed funding for your business? Make a one minute video pitch highlighting three things $10,000 will solve for your business. Share on Instagram using the hashtag Mentor Matchup Challenge 4 tag and follow at 234finance and at Mentor Matchup Challenge on Instagram. Thank you and good luck. The jobs of the future are not taught in your schools today. And that's why there's a school I want to introduce you to. In this school, they teach various digital courses. They equip people with various digital skills. They also show you how to make money on the internet. The name of the school is www.daba.school. When you log on to this school via your mobile app or via the website, you will get introduced to various courses from drone piloting, crypto trading, cake baking, and several, several courses that will change your life. So what are you waiting for? Go to Google Play Store, download the Daba app, or visit www.daba.school to get the knowledge that will make you wealthy. I'll see you inside.